You ever find yourself needing to measure something but all you've got is your phone? Well, enter Ruler, a clean, lightweight application that'll get the job done. The app will essentially automatically detect your phone's screen size and adjust the size of the on-screen ruler accordingly. And from there, you can switch between a bunch of different modes that make measuring small things super quick and easy. All right, second up today is Volume Control Panel. And as the name so helpfully implies, this is a super neat app that lets you replace your phone's system volume panels with highly customizable versions. You just grant the app some permissions, select from any of the themes, and that's it. Now, whenever you press your phone's volume rockers, you'll see your customized version. There's a whole heap of tweaks that you can make as well, including showing a bunch of system shortcuts if you like. Plus, there's even a whole Telegram community filled with stacks of custom user-made presets that you can import. Then we have Notcher, which is an app that lets you increase the functionality of your phone's status bar. With the app set up, all you need to do is tap your phone's hole punch camera, and you'll then be greeted with a scrollable horizontal list of your favorite apps. And that's kind of it, but it's accessible from everywhere. You can customize the trigger action. And the only way that I think it could be improved is if it let us customize the icons and if it made the background transparent. Other than that, it's amazing. Okay, one second every day is a fantastic concept of an app that will help you to journal your life in a super meaningful way. The idea is that you capture a one second video every single day and over time, this will help you to build essentially a mini movie of sorts documenting every single day you spend on this earth. I've only just started using the app, but I've set up daily notifications to help me to remember to capture something each day. And I'm excited to see how my own movie journal evolves over time. But let's say you instead wanna focus on building better sleep habits. Well, Sleep Cycle is a beautifully designed application that'll help you to do exactly that. You just set yourself a time range that you wanna be awake by, hit start, and that'll then start tracking your sleep. And in doing so, will wake you up at the most ideal time according to your sleep cycles. And that means you'll no longer feel that awful, super groggy feeling when you wake up. It also has a bunch of sleep assistant functions that are designed to help you to fall asleep faster. Plus, like I said, the app just has a seriously nice design up there with some of the very best that I've ever experienced on Android. Now, if you've been following the channel for a while, then you'll know that I have this series where I showcase amazing apps that are not available on the Play Store. And these apps are always really cool, except for the fact that because they're not on the Google Play Store, it's really hard to track if or when they release any updates. And so that's where Obtanium comes in, as it lets you set up these third-party applications so that you're notified as soon as an update is available. Let's take this GMS Flags app that I showcased last month on the channel. All I need to do is copy its GitHub URL, then open Obtanium, tap on Add App, then paste the URL here and tap on Add. And just like that, it'll be added to this list where I can track its updates manually or even be notified whenever an update is released. From there, we have Timed Shutdown, a super simple app that lets you schedule your phone to power off all without root access. You just select the method that your phone uses to switch itself off. So for me, it's this one click option. Then you line up this gesture button with wherever the system power off button is. And there we go. Now we can come to this timer page here and set a timer duration, which I'll set at two seconds for the purpose of this video. Then I'll hit start. And once that timer runs out, it'll activate my phone's power dialogue automatically and press the power off button for me. How good's that? Then we have a beautifully designed markdown editor application called Obsidian. Now on the surface, it would appear that Obsidian is fairly similar to most other note-taking applications. However, what makes it unique is that it is based purely on text files that are stored locally on whatever device you use it on. This means there's no chance of losing your notes should the service you're using ever be taken down, although you can upgrade to have your notes synced across devices if you like. But then aside from that, it's also just got a fantastically clean and minimal design. Second to last today is Finch, an app focused on improving your own mental well-being. The app essentially gives you your own little digital pet and it then becomes your duty to look after it. But what's neat is that the way you look after your pet is actually by completing little self-care exercises like drinking water or avoiding social media for a day. The more you complete these exercises, the more your digital pet will grow. And so you end up wanting to do more and more of these self-care exercises, which is exactly what the app is built for. It's also got a seriously impressive design and UI to go with, so definitely worth checking out. 
And so finally today we have the ChatGPT app. And I know every man and his dog already knows about ChatGPT, so why do I feel the need to recommend it in one of these Top Hats videos? Well, it's this fairly new voice chat feature that I recently stumbled upon. And I gotta say, it is kinda scary how realistic this feature is. You just tap this headphone icon, then start talking, and you'll see these really neat and accurate animations as you do so. But then the real head turner is that once you've finished, it'll then respond to you in an eerily realistic and natural sounding voice. Like if you've ever seen that movie, Her starring Joaquin Phoenix, this feels almost just as accurate as that. Here, have a listen. Can you tell me a joke? Sure. Why don't skeletons fight each other? They don't have the guts. Not bad, but can you tell me one that's perhaps a little funnier? Sure thing. Why don't scientists trust atoms? Because they make up everything. Nice. Have a good day. You too. If you need anything else, just let me know. See what I mean? Kind of crazy, right? Plus, you can also add it as a quick settings tile, meaning you have quick access to the feature from anywhere. And so there you go, 10 Android applications that I reckon are seriously cool. If you enjoyed the video, then a sub to the channel would be amazing. But that's it, thank you all very much for watching and I'll catch you later.